going on guys this is Sevi from SG and today we're gonna learn how to set up the variation swatches and photos extension on your WooCommerce store the benefits of this plugin is it just serves as a much nicer way to display the available variations of your product for example if you're apparel or fashion company um, you might have four different variations of blue such as like navy blue cobalt blue um, regular blue arctic blue um, and this just gives a way to um, show the differences to the customer another example um, would be um, you know like a like a, a plaid shirt um, instead of adding like a hex value color for the plaid shirt you're able to update um, the exact like fabric pattern of the shirt but first if this is your first time here make sure to hit that thumbs up button make sure to hit that subscribe button and all the links to the plugins can be found in the description box below the first step is to purchase the variation swatches and photos plugin so after you purchase it you want to go uh, to your woocommerce dashboard and then go to um, where is it plugins and then add new And then here you're gonna upload the zip file and I got it right here and then click install now and then click activate now that we got the plugin activated I want to show you um, the example like product that we'll be um, configuring this for so as you can see um, the hoodie is $40 and it's offered in the blue camel and gray um, you know once we um, insert the swatches then this drop down will change the swatch colors so I just want to show you the example this is kind of like the before it includes blue camel and gray and then um, I will show you the after so what we have to do to get the swatches to show up in this page is we have to go back to the WooCommerce dashboard and underneath products we're going to want to select attributes so once we click attributes we want to go to um, the color and then we want to click this button we don't want to click edit color we want to configure the terms edit the terms so we're going to click this and then um, we have to go in and set set up the swatches for each of the colors so for blue, for example, um, we're going to navigate um, to the color and then we're not going to change any of the name, the slug or the description, but for the type, we're going to change it to like a, a color swatch and I'll, and I'll show you the difference between a color swatch and a photo swatch um, with these three colors example. So we'll go to a color swatch and then you want to get a type in um, the hex value. So I think for the blue, it's 0405. Eight five, and then click update and then yep so that's the blue color and then we have to go and update um, the gray color so uh, same thing here again don't want to touch any of this stuff um, but for swatch type we're going to click color swatch and then we're going to enter in the hex value so it's aa 79 f and then click update yep okay awesome it's a it's a great color and then for the last color last but not least is camo so for camo um, I wanted to provide the example because this camo example can be like a, a plaid um, can also be like a plaid t-shirt kind of swatch um, because it doesn't really have it a fine color you can't have like you know bright green and li and like lime green both in the same color so um, in this scenario which which you want to do is you want to select photo instead of color and then you're going to want to upload um, like your own uh, like photo swatch of what the swatch will look like. So in this example, um, I'm choosing the camo and then I'm saying, yep, use this media and then clicking update. Awesome. And then um, I'm going to make sure that if I go to like the back end of the product page, so I'll go to the hoodie, the individual product, and I'll scroll down. And I don't need to change anything with the attributes, the variations. 
um, on the individual product level because it'll, it'll inherit the settings from what we set up in the, in the attributes. Um, but I do need to go down to swatches and then click on like color. Um, and then these are the, like the settings um, you're gonna wanna make sure that each product ha has correct. Um, so for the type, you wanna make sure it's like using the taxonomy colors and images. So you wanna select that. Um, for, the lay for the layout, you can choose to have like no label or label or put the label below. It's just, just the color label um, for how it's labeling the swatches. Um, so I chose above um, and then for the size, I just said um, select the like the traditional uh, swatch image size and to change these sizes um, if you navigate to products and attributes you can change um, how big or small each of the swatch sizes is. so anyway so if I go up scroll up and click update and then I view this product I'm gonna see um, all three swatches appear so I have my blue color which is the hex value I have the gray color which is the hex value and then I have the camo color which is this which is the the photo swatch again you can find all the plugin links in the description box below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button um, I'm trying to uh, make more videos in quarantine so if you have any good ideas for some videos or need help with something on WooCommerce or WordPress, don't hesitate to leave a comment um, below as well with the suggestion of a new video.